Hi, so in this video today we're going to be looking at finding the volume of revolution uh, for parametric equations. Okay, so just a quick reminder, um, the volume of revolution is where you have a curve and you rotate it 360 degrees around the x or the y axis creating a solid and it's the volume of this solid we're trying to find. Um, the equations for the parametric equations are, are given here, so if the volume of a solid is around the x-axis given by pi times the integral between t1 and t2, y squared dx by dt dt. And if you note, if you cross-cancel the dt's, you get the y squared uh, dx, which is the same as you would get if you had the Cartesian uh, form of this, this formula. And then the volume of the solid around the y-axis is given by pi times the integral between t1 and t2, x squared dy by dt d and again you get the x squared dy which is what you would need if you were finding the same thing for the Cartesian equation. Okay so here's an example find the volume created when the area bounded by the curve defined by x equals t minus 2 and y equals 3 t squared and the lines x equals minus 1 and x equals minus 2 and the x-axis is rotated 360 degrees about the x-axis. Okay, so we work out the limits. Um, so we do exactly the same as we did for when we're finding the area under the curve. We rearrange this to give us t, then we substitute our different x values. We get, uh, sorry, x values, where are my x values there? x equals minus 1 and x equals minus 2. So when x equals minus 1, we get t equals 1. x equals minus 2, we get t equals 0. We then need the dx by dt, so uh, where's my there? So we differentiate that with respect to t, so that would give me 1. Then we shove everything in here, so we get pi, uh, the integral between 0 and 1, y squared, y is uh, 3t squared, so that would be 9t to the fourth, d, dx by dt, which is 1, so I've just left it out, and then dt. So we have this, and then we want to integrate. And remember, when you integrate, you add 1 to the power, divide by the adjusted power. So this is 9 over 5 t to the power of 5 between 0 and 1 times pi. OK, so you sort that out. Remember, you put this one in first, and then this one in second, and then take them away. But actually, the 0 doesn't give you anything. So you get 9 fifths pi cubic units. OK, I hope that's helpful.